well tree. I don't know how to say this, but yes. it appears we have some potential mischief uh, uh -huh. plays that you mean know, going on in our world. Huh. Uh, what type of mischief? Well, have you seen? Well, it's really just nothing. It's. What do you mean? It's 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 nothing. Nothing. Yep. Have you seen those signs around? They're just random, and they're like just they just say nothing. Well, it's obviously see something. No, it it says the word nothing. No, but. There's definitely something with the nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah you're yeah, right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, luckily, I have a few things we can use to crack this case. Okay, is it I've, like I've got you a coffee? Oh, oh, okay. Magnifying glass and oh, some boiled oh. eggs. And some protein. That's that, that's going to help out a lot because we're going to need all the energy we can get from this. <laughs> Are you throwing eggs at me? <laughs> no. Okay. So, well, here's the here's the thing. We're going to need to interview uh, some people. We need to find out what is going on behind this. You know. Uh, so, uh, you want to just split up and we'll go and we'll interview a couple of the echoes. And see what conclusion we can come to as to who's placing these signs and what do they mean. I think we should first do some brainstorming of who the best candidates are to interview. Okay, so what are you thinking? I'm thinking, have we got any signs? It's gotta be, <laughs> it's gotta be something in here somewhere. <laughs> We got, I mean, we got the signs on the side of our chairs. But. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> you know, DC is a very uh, active member. I think he should definitely be uh, the first person that we should consider talking to. Yes. Okay. DC, for active man, first person. Oh, I'm pushing my mind card off. Hold oh, on, God. hold on. How about Branzy? You know, Branzy has been in a slightly mischief mood uh mischievous mood here recently there might be something there mischievous you have fun trying to spell that i'm gonna go with it mind a kind of <laughs> my you kind of sus and then brandy okay so um <laughs> i think maybe the last is probably going to be i'm gonna say wreck once again, Wreck has been in a little bit of a, a mischievous Wreck. mood as well. Uh, planting items in people's inventory and sneaking up on them. Mischievous as well. I'll yeah, take we'll DC light. and okay. Branzy. Okay. And I'll and do you Mayu take and Wreck. And Wreck. Okay, that sounds good. All right, so we'll interview both of those and uh, we'll come back here and we'll find out uh, what information we've collected and then we'll try to get to the bottom of this because I am really curious as to who is doing what. All right, you're moving my chair again. Quit moving my Hello, welcome back to another episode of Echo Craft. Welcome to episode five. A lot of stuff has happened while I was offline because you know, I was gone for like six months or something. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna first go off into the shopping district and just see if there's something I can buy what's food related because I am constantly hungry now. Echo Craft has changed so much. It's ridiculously actually. I uh, got a lot of wood here off camera and I made an arena which then closed off e Evolution Game. I'm sorry I only lasted an episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm back into Neverite Armor. DC1. Callum built this lovely tower. Don't know what it is. Looks kind of cool. Might go check it out. Might as well. Uh, surprise, surprise. It's a tower. Now, we got to talk about the shopping district because it's changed so much. It's ridiculous how much it's changed in little matter. Oh! 
the little amount of time it's happened. I think Mayu has been going absolutely mental with the terraforming. It's kind of unrecognizable now. It's crazy. Yeah, pass through will be seven wide. There will be terraforming and trees and nature. I give this about a week or two, maybe longer. Love Mayu. So she's completely like gone around the edges and shaped it and it just looks amazing now. All the paths look quite nice. Not quite nice. They do look nice. <laughs> it's a bit rude, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, look at this cliff uh, terraforming. Beautiful. What's this? It's an underground bit. This would be cool to do an underground bit. Underground bit. If we lose space on the top, we have loads of room under there. We have a double layered shopping district. So I'm going to look at this because this looks intriguing. Guessing it's parkour up. I'm going to parkour up now. I did it! Oh my god! Lovely. Don't know what this is gonna, how this is gonna come in handy. I might sell this for like a stack of diamonds. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> Ow! I don't have a leecher. So we have this armor stand shop made by Sailor, I think. So you put what you want down and then you put it to the right for, like, for her to look at. You can read this if you want. This is just a simple mycelium collection type thing for free i'm pretty sure yes oh and this this is dc's tower not dc sorry dc is lagging's tower and uh it's got loads of different types of stuff kelp never weather don't know what that is fossil fuels guessing coal uh triple s don't know <laughs> i'll have to look at all these sometime fireworks yep he hasn't got much stock yet but good but this is very very new so it's understandable. <gasps> Look at this. How much does how much lunchbox fifteen pounds? Fifteen pounds. <laughs> it's fifteen diamonds. Oh my I am buying this instantly. Gimme that. <sighs> this cures my food problem forever now. I've already got all the sales from Hello. Got all the sales from uh, my log shop. Lovely jubbly. This is new. I think you might have seen it. I can't remember. It's the beacon shop. Buy beacons here. I think that's mostly the new ones. Hmm. I want to spend money on this quick because I love this. And I know you meant to do the parkour, so I'm actually going to do it this time. Mayu is much more forgiving with her jumps. <laughs> Where's it gone? Oh no. I'll have to come back another time. Anyway, we're going to start a beautiful new project today. We are going to be doing the Halloween treasure hunt. Yes. I'm just going to stand here and watch him. I might be spoiling things here. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not even going to crouch. Get out of here, pork chops. Get wrecked. I'm going to take a few shulkers just to, you know, settle my onions. So the premise of this Halloween treasure hunt is there's going to be a lot of different relics you can find around the shopping district, people around, around people's bases, and you're going to distinguish it because there will be a jungle button on a wall, and then it will just dispense something or open something and it will pop out the relic probably just gonna use dispensers to be honest so or droppers that'd be easier and then with those relics you're gonna use multiple relics to combine to make an artifact what I'm gonna do is get 15 of each relic and put it in the dropper because that's how many people there are and so I'm probably just gonna get 15 of just random items and then call them cool names all right, so we have a random assortment of 
items in stacks of 15 because there's 15 echoes wait i uh i count as that 15 so it's actually 14. oh well there'll be a spare one <laughs> So these are the two common boxes. We're going to add loads of more common. I'm going to try and get as much common as possible. And these are the ultra rare pretty much. And this is the best. I'm going to go to the Enderman Grinder. And I'm going to rename these some epic names. With some epic like cool text. It'll be cool. Oh that took a long long time. I'm probably going to have to replace a lot of anvils. I just used about four. <laughs> So we've got loads of different common ones. These are the common ones. They're all worth one point. And then these super rare ones. Well, I'm not going to say unnamed for now. Because just see the mystery. But this coral block is worth 50, 30 block, thirty points. God. Um, this gold block is worth 15 points. These are worth one, as you saw. These are worth two. Or three. Or one. Or two. Or three. Here's the entrance of the area for the treasure hunt I created just now alone off camera. So that you come into this little black cave under where the shopping district is just over here. I just did that so the other echoes can know where it is if they want to see it. And then down here will be the area. So you have, welcome to Halloween treasure hunt, starts 25th of October. Around this map, you can find 50 different relics you need to find, ranging from 1 point to 30. Your goal is to find jungle buttons and only press them once. Some may be dud. You need 10 relic points to get a treasure coin. Most people with treasure coins win. So you put all your relics in here and then there'll be all the coins in here. You can just take out the coins you need. Because if you, for instance, get that, ultimate coral block i'm not going to say what it's called then you get uh three coins so that will stock you chicken anyway i'm going to stop with the treasure hunt for now we're going to start that next episode and hopefully things go to plan maybe i'll make a few relics in between episodes just so it's a bit fair otherwise there's going to be not enough common and then your people are going to get the super rare ones super easily and quick oh wow uh dc was on about he was sharing all the profits with uh everyone who passed participated in evo but i didn't realize i would actually get some because i created it <laughs> i didn't really want a prize at the end of it but damn Returning investment. Epic, epic, epic. Thank you, DC. Speaking of DC, he has requested I get 90 stacks of logs for 30 diamonds because, as you well know, the obvious and well known offers book is right here. And 90 stacks equals 30 diamonds. Everyone knows this. Uh, it's obviously very well known. Um. <laughs> So we're gonna go collect that and then we're gonna go give it to DC. Tom Lapse Tom! Uh, it is a very warming texture. Have your 5,760 logs. I'll grab my wallet, take the 35 diamonds. All right, he's probably building his house. This episode might be coming up before that. I definitely don't want to spoil the house because he's putting a lot of effort in that. So I'm just going to cut to once I've got the diamonds. Speaking of wood, we're going to raise the prices of the wood shop because... I can barely keep up with this. I mean, it's nearly always empty. 
because I just can't keep up. I'm probably going to raise the offers as well. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to get in a call with Toad and see about the prices of this log shop. Oh, you're, oh. you're still blue. I'm still blue? Yeah. You're still in that... Uh, oh, yeah. I, came, I brought you over here to Callum. To be honest... Don't. I brought you over oh, here. Sorry. Because our log shop is you know dead. there's no path up there <laughs> it, <laughs> i was gonna walk up there there's not it, the wood is very very cheap and uh i was hoping to change this this one to maybe like uh mm. to maybe a four or maybe a three i'd say three four is a bit much We'd be called stingy if we sold it all for free. I also need to restock. But that. then again, there is these offers what everyone knows about down here. <laughs> oh yes, everyone knows about. <laughs> <laughs> Even I knew about that. Yes, and I understand. Yeah, ninety stacks equals thirty diamonds. Ten stacks equals four diamonds. We're gonna have to raise this as well. I think. 